Welcome back to Frontier for episode 11 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's 2.18 in the afternoon, I've cleared a bit more earth than I intended to do, I've come down one of the side roads as well in an effort to help clear the roads a little bit more. I had previously cleared all up to this junction, um, I'll tell you what I did find as I was coming in here, I saw these this fence post and this little thing, there's some more metal in here, I don't own the land, this is not mine, and I think this is one of those properties uh, that when you buy the land that comes up as a sleep trigger so this will be owned by somebody so I shouldn't really come and help myself to the metal but like I said I have cleared a little bit to side so the money has gone up um, we, we have done a fair bit actually <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is we're going to head up and I'm going to get on with the stump grind and I've done a little bit more I've been bouncing between jobs um, but we'll get over there in just a moment Just been exploring as I've been going around as well, which has been quite nice. So I left the trailer up, I thought I'm not gonna drag the trailer around with me while I'm a bit of a, a bit of a scout around. So like I say, my, my theory at the moment or my premise at the moment is gonna be to clear the stumps. That. Also dawned to me when I was saying about taking the lumber to the train um, the train doesn't have log carriages so it would take the log containers now I'm trying to remember whether Hispano and 82 Studios in their various different sets of cargo trailers backs whether they've got a log one I know they've got the containers they've got the open containers there's the liquid tanks I'm sure there's a log in one isn't there um, so I'm thinking about getting a couple of those or getting one of those maybe so I can't remember when it goes to sell. And that's assuming, of course, the train will take them. Um, we'll see. But anyway, um, I have, like I said, I've been doing some stump grinds already. So we've got all of this here at the moment, which I can't sell because the carpentry and the, um, and the sawmill are full. But it is working very well. It's very efficient. This is going to need a bit of love. <laughs> bit of a clean. Switch back to the vehicle. There we go. 
go. We've got quite a few all over the place, so it's just a case of trying to make sure I've been putting the lights on so often you can see it just catches the light on the stumps every now and again but the problem you've got is because some of these are and the ground is really awkward it's getting the grinder right in there we go sinking it not completely oh that's annoying there we go yeah getting the stump grinder in close enough to actually remove the stump and also remembering where they all are is yeah almost impossible but we'll get there Get the angle just wrong and it misses completely. I'm wondering whether the three point link mounted ones would have worked better with the tractor, maybe. Because there's no flex on this whatsoever. I'll just come at it from a different angle. Um, yeah, so what I think I'll do, I'm going to head back up and try and get rid of those stumps out where the, the ore is and see if I can landscape that out, smooth it. Since I've sold a lot of earth now and we've got a bit more money in the bank. That will help pay for a bit more landscaping. Come on. Oh, doesn't want to know. There we go. So yeah, we'll go back up there. I'm still mulling over the, op op the offer from Atreides Mining Corporation. Now I've got a bit more money because I think I said 120 grand. I actually haven't been to check um, to buy the mine. So like I said, the land is owned. If I show you on the map, if we go to here, so the land is owned by a tradies mining corporation, but the mine itself isn't. So they own the land, which means they can take. There's ore and there's stones already on the ground. They have asked me if I will clear. There's a barrel beeping over there somewhere to clear the stuff away now i'm not going to take i'm not going to take it for me i'm not even going to take the stuff away it's just going to be a case of going in with my bucket on the the loader and clearing the stones out of the way to get to that barrel the barrel is theirs whatever money they get for that but i don't mind doing it because if I, again if i can get a five percent um finder's fee on it for doing the work i mean obviously it depends it's always a gamble it could be worth 500 grand could be worth a million could be worth 20 grand but at the end of the day It'll be five percent bonus but if i invest in the mine and we get the mine running then i can get stuff from the mine but it's a big expense so i'm at the moment i'm oh just realized our uh, xj is in the way of the stump let's move that yeah i'm not i'm not sure at the moment whether i should or not it could be quite lucrative but it will involve a bit of work to get it up and running i think it requires once the mine's bought it requires machine parts and is it oil and drilling equipment and stuff like that to be bought out here, which I can do. Uh, it's a bit more expense because I have to buy those things, and those things are a finite resource. They they do run down over time. Um, but what we get out will probably more than cover the cost of buying the parts. At least I hope it will do. So I don't. Know. That's something else I'm, I'm sort of mulling over. Can I get to that one? Oh, it's on there as well. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I have to say, this loader, and I keep saying it, every episode I've said it, it's been worth its weight in gold, and it's just, it, it, will, it pretty much goes anywhere. I haven't had a real problem, only on very steep terrain, and it doesn't slide either, like the skidsy loader kept slipping down the hillsides. It doesn't, which does make doing this sort of thing a lot easier. It's not, it's not a doddle, but it's certainly easier. Right, 
I'll see you in a bit. Get this cleared. As far as I can tell, <laughs> as far as I can tell, m most of, I wasn't say all of, but there's some stumps down the steep sides to the left of here. I think are out. I'm still, I'm going to find some odds and ends here and there, but what we did was a tiny little bit of landscaping to the side here. We seem to have a lot of, what are these? Oh, mushrooms. I couldn't work out what they were. Yes, all I did was just smooth this a little bit because with the stumps in the way, it won't allow you to smooth. So I've smoothed over this bit until we get to the ore. So hopefully, I mean, it depends how deep that is and how sharp the sides are, but we'll get what we can out of it. I'm sure this picks up all. So, drive in there, turn it on, drop it down. It does. We are good. There's one bit I've missed right here. So what I might have to do is do some landscaping as I go. So I think we're going yeah, we're gonna expose the deep, steep sides. But if you landscape over stuff, you'll lose it. So we would lose the ore that's in here. Raise that up a little bit. Something if we could. Oh yeah, there's a stump there. I've just seen it. Ah, gotta be careful, otherwise I'm gonna get stuck. There's a lot in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go at a different angle here. Oh no, oh, I get stuck over. Absolutely had it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, look how steep that is. Let's just move this out some more. We're nearly full. <laughs> oh blimey, that's crazy. We've only done the first. I mean, that's. We're going to get at least the same again out of that. Yeah, so I need to smooth this lip here so we can get into there. Then we might be alright. Okay, well, what we'll do, turn... Can I get any more in there? It's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? We'll take what we got. The problem is I've got now is whether or not the um, factory that takes it is full or not. Metal and limestone factory. Yeah, if that's full, then we might have to Northern Railroad it, which actually probably wouldn't be too much of a problem. The price is better than metal and limestone. I'm trying to think how many days it's been since we last tipped some in there, so we might be okay. It might only take a little bit. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So what I'll do is, actually, I'll move this out of the way. It will allow me to landscape a little bit more. Let's drop that. There. Which way do I need to go from here? I'm just trying to work out. Where am I? Uh, actually, no, I need to go this way, don't I? Let's see how we get on. If not, it'll be the train. So I've got a few bits I'm going to do in this episode with the train then. Hopefully, I'm, I need to go and have a look in the brochures and see if we've got a log container available. And we'll try that out. If this won't sell at the metal and limestone because it's full, then... Yeah, we'll try what I was going to, what I was thinking of doing just before we lose the light. Hopefully, we'll get it all done in this episode, and that will leave us really nicely financially to look towards the next step, whatever that might be. More land, etc. We are getting more equipment and machinery. We'll see what tomorrow brings in January one with regard to second hand machinery. We're gradually picking bits, and but I'm just suddenly looked to my right at my um, the repair of this. Oh, we're nearly into the red. I'll probably do with a bit of a bit of love on this as well. I am abusing my machinery.
I was losing the light too fast yesterday, so um, it was knocking on four o'clock, and I thought, I'll start recording again, but yeah, it was getting too dark, so I thought, right, we'll skip ahead, we're into January, it's five to ten, and this is as light as it's got so far, it's a bit cloudy, maybe some sun will come out later on, we should be alright, um, and I'm at the store, I'm at the store because I was talking about this as a potential, and again, this is this is kind of, we've got a bit of testing going on for this, um, this is, I'm going to try to reduce the train rental. Now, I, I spoke about this before, actually, what I'll do. I'm, I'm borrowing the uh, wheel loader here at the store. This is what it's for. It's here at the store. It's for loading stuff on that you purchased at the store. I haven't even asked or looked into the fact that would it be possible to... Um... Oh, that's interesting. Would you be able to um, rent it like I do with the other bits and bobs? But um, this is a 45 foot, this is the flat rack container. Um, for logging. And the point about this hopefully being, where it says that I can sell... It's not liking that at all, is it? That's really because it's supposed to work with forks and stuff. It's not liking it. I don't know if it's because the forks have got straps, or I haven't got the straps on. If we can get it onto the trailer. Oh, it's a little bit longer than the trailer, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's, well, it's a 40 foot trailer, isn't it? That's fine. No, I'm going to do. I'm going to take that off. Give it a notion of the side. Huh? You can stack these, but I don't know whether or not putting two. It's supposed to auto level itself. Well, I suppose I could do that. would be a bit nuts, wouldn't it? We'll give it a go. Anyway, yeah, so um, because um, the carpentry is full as is the sawmill with lumber um, and each day they're, they're chugging through a little bit but not enough for me to sell full loads of lumber so the only place left is that um, by train but the problem is with the train cars as I've mentioned before they don't have a lumber carriage so the only thing I'm thinking is that it's supposed to work with the wood containers there we go export by train um, yeah it's the wood containers and these are the sim a similar sort of thing. Now these were 6,000 each, 6.6 six, I think it was. Obviously as you can see the money's gone up. We sold all the, well, let's see. Yeah, you've seen it, haven't you? We sold all of the, um, the ore that we had in the pit. I'm clearing that plot. Our forestry plot is pretty much, not too far. Uh, the forestry pro plot is pretty much cleared. Um, all the ore's gone, stumps are done. It's just all the lumber now to pick up and get rid of. Now I did say I could just get rid of that gradually over a period of time, but I thought, you know what, it makes more sense to just, I'll just, we'll get rid of it. Then the plot's clear, then if I want to, I can sell the plot on to whoever wants to buy it next, because I can, I'm not doing anything else with that plot of land. That plot of land was good for lumber, but it's not really going to be any use for anything else. Um, I can't build anything on it without doing extensive landscaping. There's one tiny little bit on there where I've got my logs at the moment, which is my landing. That's going to have to do for the time being, I think. Um, I'll give it a shove right into the end and then hopefully that will uh, line it all up. I'm really puzzled by that. I thought the forks would work a little bit better. I suppose the other way to do it would be to use the um, big bale handler. I'll try that. Um, sorry, big bale. Big bag handler. I thought using the forks would be the correct way of doing it. So, um, so anyway, yes. Now, I've mentioned this briefly. Now, I've done a little bit of train work on maps that have had trains that I've done Let's Plays on, Silver Run being one of them, and, you know... Right, that's about as good as that's going to get. But, um... On FS19, there was a situation that, you know, every now and again, you could... Why did that strap that and not that? There we go. Um... Three straps should be alright, shouldn't it? It's a big, heavy old bit of kit, maybe I should put more on. There we go. Um, so you, you could... People will always just say that the train keeps going round and round, I want it to stay in one place. Now, it was more if you were doing contract work. If you're doing a contract and you were doing a harvest and the harvest um, sell point was the, wherever the train was going to, um, if you were trying to load that train up as you were doing your harvest, especially things like potatoes and sugar beet, um, even if the leasing fees are a thousand an hour, which is generally what they are, some maps they're less. I think some maps I've been on there are a hundred an hour, which is fantastic. Um, and I, generally speaking, I would just lease the train, I would do the harvest, and it was kind of part and parcel of the price. 
and then a few times like people say how, how do I stop that train just keep driving off because I keep I rent it um, and then so when you give it back if there's nothing on it off it goes again so you should you should you just used to be able to put a, something in it. it didn't matter what it was a bit of crop a bit of something if you put something in it um, it would stop the train from driving away well I haven't really done that since FS19 I haven't because the rental fees haven't been too bad but on here at five grand a pop and as you saw when I did the sand um, when I had it for over an hour, it cost me over five grand. Oh, that's not so good. Let's take it back a little bit. That's yeah, twisted down between. About there. Let's try that. There we go. See if this goes bonkers. Oh, I should have done it with this in the first place. That would have been major. So this worries me now for the wheel loader at the other end. But we'll see, because I'm going to have to take the top one off. Um, this might be a little bit too top heavy, but we'll see. Yeah, so because it was five, five grand, because loading the sand on took a while I thought there's, I need a way of reducing that rental fee you know to, to, to get the train rental lower so that if you are selling stuff or you have got a contract to sell at the sell point oh, I'm not gonna get there am I that's as high as that goes why did I think that was gonna work um, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the train to come back in. It's a little bit fiddly, but it will save you money. That's the thing about it. It will save me money as well. So I'm going to rent the train. When it arrives, well, I'll show you. I'm going to put something in it and then give the train back. And what should happen, and what happened by accident when I tried it, or well, sorry, I tried it when I was doing the sand, um, it got some sand in it. And I'm, I still can't work out how it got some sand. It did the same when I was doing the dirt. And it got like four, 400 litres of dirt in it. And I couldn't work out why the train had stopped running. It was because it had come back to the silo point. Do that and now release it. That should, there you go, automatically clip into place. Now that's not ideal for height, but <laughs> we shall see. So what I'm going to do on the way through, I'm going to do that. So like I say, it's a little bit of a... It's a little bit of mucking around because when you give the train back, the train will disappear and you're going to think to yourself, oh, okay, well, this hasn't worked. Um, did it go above? Oh, okay. So I'm hoping that's locked into place because I thought the straps would go right over both. This is a very dangerous proposition. I'm assuming those bits there, they, have they locked? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. <laughs> that's... Um, I'm not too sure. How are we looking? 1.3, okay, not far away. If you do it very quickly just to check the distance, it's not going to charge you too much, but as you can see, it is charging. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get this rental fee down um, as low as I can. Now, like I said, this will work for what I'm doing. Hopefully I'm going to bring back those log containers. They're both going to be full. I'll put them onto the two flatbed cars and send them off. Now, fingers crossed, it will sell that lumber it should sell that lumbar at this point that's going to be the test part of it this part is you know fingers crossed this is going to work oh the other thing as well i did buy one of the tlx weights for the back of this um and it fits on there like an absolute dream whoa no Friend train that will come back too busy talking Did it come back or has it just stopped up there? It's just stopped up there. Okay, so once you've rented it, it will turn the colour, if you're on multiplayer and you've got colours assigned to the farms, it will turn the colour of your farm. If not, it will just be the, you know, I think it will just be, is it white standard on the game? Let me just go down the track because the whole time that's, I thought it was going to come back and that's now sitting there and I'm being charged for it. Good way of explaining it. I thought it would just stop. I should have caught it quicker. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to reverse it back and I'm going to put a tiny little bit of, of dirt into it. Now, you can do this with crops and stuff as well. Now, if you are delivering crops, that might be an issue. If you're delivering different crops, it might be an issue. But if you have got just your first load of whatever it is, you should, in theory, be able to just put your first bit into it. And if you return the train, it shouldn't go anywhere. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit in it. And if it does go anywhere, on here, it should do a full loop. And what it will do is it will come back to this silo here. 
and it will stop because what it's basically saying is that there's something in here that shouldn't be in here it needs to be unloaded into the silo can you get rid of it kind of thing so at this point once i've given it back weirdly i can still access it because at the moment If I return the train now with nothing in it, that train will keep going round and round and round and round. I can't get on it. I can't get on it. I can't run it unless I've rented it. However, okay. Yeah. However, if I put something in it and it goes and does a full loop, strangely, once it's stopped, I can then get in it. And I have, I'm not renting it at that point. I can get in it. I can drive it. I can utilise it, and I can load it. But I'm not being charged for rental. So like I say, at the moment, it's showing as green because I'm renting it. So all I'm going to do with this, I'm going to put just a tiny little bit in. Just tip it enough. There we go, that'll do. Not even a thousand litres. And then I'm going to return the train. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return the train. Whilst While I'm returning the train, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to take the containers up to the login site to start loading the logs because it's going to take a while for the train to do the full loop it should go off the map should do a full loop round and come back and what it should do when it comes back is it will stop by the silo again <laughs> I think is this a risk? potentially so that cost me 268 mainly because it was sat down there while I was talking and I meant to go back to it so that's going, and it has got something in it. Now, what I'm hoping it's not going to do is when it goes off the map, um, it's going to pay me for that little bit that's in there. I think if you go over a 1,000 litres, it might. I'm not sure. Um, that might be a bit more testing, but fingers crossed this will work, and I'll show you what will happen then when it comes back, because it will work. At the moment, now it's heading off. It's not in green anymore. It's back to white, because I'm not renting it anymore. Um, when it comes back and it stops back here again, it should stay white. But I should be able to get on it, I should be able to turn it on, and I should be able to drive it. Which means it will stay in place, I can load it, and the whole time I'm loading it, I'm not being charged for rental. So when I did all my sand up here, and I stopped the train from here, and I spent over an hour loading it up, the whole time I was loading that, I was being charged rental. And even when I sped up that process, um, and I put two conveyors in, and I was going backwards and forwards, and I was getting two loads an hour... Um, I was still being charged, you know, in those two loads, it still ends up charging me over five grand. So fingers crossed, this will go off the map and we won't have a problem. <laughs> if it pays me... Then we might be in trouble. Nothing's gone in top right, I haven't had anything come up in green, I haven't been paid for anything. If I go back to the map, train's gone. Right, so what should happen now is the train will come back in a little while and it will stop here. I won't be charged anything. I'm not renting it, but it will just stop there and it will stay there. <clears throat> he says. So here's where we're at. I've got the containers up here. Um, I've managed to unload that one and put it on the ground. This one I'm going to leave on the trailer. I've also leased one of these. I've leased one of these. This is a base game trailer. Um, because I've got a trailer hitch on the back of this. Because I put it as a flatbed gooseneck. But because this was 45 foot and overextended off the back of the 40 foot trailer. I took the ramps off. So I reconfigured it and then put it with a trailer hitch on the back. So what I'm going to do, and I went for this one because it's got the long bar there, this will go on the back. 
So what I can do is load these up with logs. I'm going to do one at a time. I can then put the crawler loader with the forks onto that trailer behind it, take it down to the train station, then I should be able to unload these off of the back of the trailer onto the flatbeds of the train cars. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts to this. Um, did I leave that one? I did. So just be a bit of moving things around. So what I'm going to do is load this one first on the floor. Then I'm going to, if I've given myself a little bit of space, I'll do that pile first. Um, and then I'll back that trailer in, load that one up from the other two piles. I might still have some left over actually. I'm just, I don't know how well, and to be fair, these stacks are an absolute mess. So I might have to do a bit of fine tuning. That's why I went for 45s, because a 40 foot trailer is just over 12 foot. I know some of these poles are longer than 12, some are 13s. I think I might even have some 14s in there as well. Um, that's actually grabbed way more than I wanted to. Let's put that down a little bit. I'm right, still doing it. Grab that. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I'm borrowing the wheel loader from the store, from the case shop. Um, I have taken the my rear weight off of my Volvo loader to put on the back. Um, my crawler loader, even with the TLX weight on maximum, can't lift the log trailers full of logs. Um, I'm not even sure this is going to either, so we might have a bit of a problem here. So I've got the first lorry over. I, I, um, this one I left on the trailer and loaded it up, but the other one that was on the floor, I needed to move it because it was in the way. So I put the crawler loader into it, it just wouldn't budge. Uh, maximum weight, the whole lot, couldn't lift it. So, uh, oh, and also the train situation, as you can see, the train's here, it's just sat. Um, it came back around, stopped at the silo. If we go back into our map, you'll see it's on white, so I haven't, I'm not leasing it, it's just sat there. Um, I have got in it, I started up and I've backed it up, so our two train cars or flatbed cars are right here. So what I need to do now, and bearing in mind how the, um, whoa, Bearing in mind how this reacted last time. Hmm. So what I'm going to do is take off, not those ones, that one and that one. Probably easier for a different in cab actually, wouldn't it? Let's start that up. Undo the straps, right. All I need to do is lift it so I can drive the, that out from underneath it. And even if it hits the floor, I should be able to just push it onto the train car, assuming this whole thing just doesn't tip up. If it does, I need to go bigger. The problem with that is, going bigger, leasing something that will lift that up, will cost me as much as what I'm going to make on selling the logs. So you then find yourself in that catch-22 of, if you're selling by train, especially doing something like this, is it going to be worth doing if it's going to cost you that much money? So. But as you can see, I've, I have already, I mean, the premise of what I was doing was reducing the train rent, and I've done that, no problem at all. Now, I should be able to strap this now because it's got logs on it. So those straps on the forks will go over the logs, which means that is strapped down so it shouldn't go flying around. If I increase the weight on the back of that to maximum... Come on. It's off. It's off. Barely. Can I just get this to go forward? Come on. Stuck on the trailer. Is that what it is? Guess I'm doing straps. Okay, it was the tension straps. So it wasn't the tension straps that were strapped to this, it was the tension straps that were strapping the logs that seemed to be holding it on. Now that's not ideal, but what we can do, I hope, it says I hope, all I've got to do, actually I need to put some more tension straps back on that tonight. Stop those logs going anywhere, is, doesn't have to be all of them, but some of them, 
I just need to be able to lift it enough to slide it or just push it but weight's maximum just tilt it back enough to be able to get it to move ok 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 that's not horrendous it's not perfect but oh, come on straighten up right so what I've got to do the chop is I can't oh no I've just realised that's all well and good this end I can't load the other log back onto my trailer because I can't lift it because I filled it on the floor oh man some straps oh, it Shut that down like I say all this could be for nothing if I send the train off um, and it doesn't sell this. <laughs> I think at that point I might just cry. <laughs> it's one of my usual zany ideas. Of course it will work, why not? Let's try it and then find, yeah. It might do, it might still work. What do I do now? I've got to go back with the flatbed. I was convinced this would work with the extra, a bigger vehicle with the weight on the back. Still not enough. I'm not even convinced the Volvo will work. Um, and then we move into crazy machinery, which will cost me more to lease than I'm going to make. As I'm driving up here, believe me, I'm already aware of the irony of the situation. <laughs> but this is a proof of concept now, so go with it, stick with me on this. I'm in the Liebherr, Liebherr LRS 645. Uh, this is a Kenny 456 creation. This was one of the cheaper alternatives I could think of. I've leased it, as you can see my money's gone down, 16000 So, in my effort to show to you that you can reduce your re train rental costs, <laughs> I've reduced my train rental costs and then spent a fortune on this. But, that's because I'm transporting lumber. Because I've ch chosen to do it this way around. So this is a necessary evil because of what I've chosen to do here. That does not detract from the fact that you can get your train rental costs down by doing what I did. By putting a little something in there um, and then when it comes back round again and it stops, you can then access it, use it, load it. So like I said, for contract work or anything like that. Um, so the, the two are separate kind of it's just because I'm using it for this at the moment so um, I've got my trailer up here that's good to go I've got a little bit more left here I've tidied this pile up so that's probably one more of these containers now I own these containers and I'm not sure if they're going to work like the, the log containers that you buy them and then when it goes and goes by train whether it sells the container with the log or whether or not the logs will go and the container will come back or whether it'll all come back and nothing will sell if that's the case um, I've got some nice little log containers with lumbering but I'll have it all off the, the, the sort of the hillside I guess that's the main thing um, so yeah what I've got to do now then just realised that Editing this is going to be a nightmare because this is going to take so long. I'll extend that out. Now this had a, I had a couple of issues with this when it first came out, but I'm hoping. Let's do that. Don't want to come out too far. Do that and that. That one adjusts that way. One of these goes. That's it. Adjust that to the middle. So I can adjust the angle of that, but I don't get it quite level. Spin that that way. So I get to about there. Um, this should hook up completely. Now I can extend the, the um, it's got like supports at the front. But because I've got to drive it, that's all well and good for picking up. But I want it to be yeah, roughly there. Let's rotate that a little bit. We can 
tilt as well, I think. How do we tilt? There we go. Like that. Uh, and then we need to... How do we extend it? That way... I want to full extent, I think. Is it full extent we want to go? Probably. Can bring it down. There we go. And it'll give us the option to hook up. Now, whether or not I'm going to have any problems because it's logs, but we're about to find out, aren't we? Oh, hang on. Attach. Okay. It's, it's kind of on. Well, that's the main thing. So I know it'll lift it, that's good. Bring that back a little bit so the weight's as close to the vehicle as possible. Brilliant. <laughs> Spot the genius. Now I've got to drive this all the way back down. Let's say I haven't got to do this much, it's only going to be this one and one more, I think. So if these don't sell, I need to buy another one of these. And then what I'll do is I'll probably just store them at the, um, the train depot. Or store them somewhere. And then we'll sell them as and when we can. Unless, like I say, they should sell by train. But at this point, who knows what's going to happen. I, I'm just, you know... <laughs> I'm just... Oh, no. At least it's not going bonkers like it did before. Uh, let's turn that a little bit, turn that a little bit. Bit. Now, the other thing I'm thinking, am I going to be able to get this off the trailer at the other end? Uh, let me see. that way. So it's level. And then, why was it? Like that. Just to get it into position a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not sure. We should be able to, so hopefully this isn't going to grab the whole lot. Switch to that. Detach. <sighs> Who knows what's going to happen now. Right, I'm going to fold all this away. Straps on this. This will go back down. I'll see you back down there. Straps on. As long as this doesn't decide it's going to latch itself onto the trailer at the other end. Let's see if we can't get this lo this lumber sold. This was supposed to be this was supposed to be a, a mere 10, 15 minutes of this episode was going to be me getting the lumber down there, getting onto the, the train, and off we go. Of course, that was going to happen, was it? Out of the wilderness we come, barreling. <laughs> Let's see what happens now, shall we? Train still sat there, the whole time it's been there. I'm not being charged, I don't think. Actually, should have left that running, shouldn't I? Uh, right. Uh, straps off. Let's see if this lifts off here or whether these straps are going to be interfering with the trailer again. Potentially. Right, going into that. Lights. Turn that a little bit. Haven't got supports down this time, that's helpful. Uh, how are we looking? Probably do with going that way a little bit. No, I lifted that fine, didn't it? Oh, you beauty. You should have done this in the first place. Uh, tilt that, that way a bit. Let's come right up. So we get the lorry out. And now, bring that back in a bit. Lower that down. We should get under the main section of this, hopefully. Just come down a little bit lower, there we go. Oh, this is so much easier. So much easier than the other wheel loader. All we need is a £310,000 or dollar piece of equipment. But to be fair, leasing it wasn't too bad. Oh, this is so much easier. That's what these things are designed for. Is that it? It's a doddle. Absolute doddle. 
why, why did I wait why why did I not think of that before okay let's move that out of the way <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave this here for a little bit because I might need to use it in a minute to unload them again so the theory let's strap that down oh that's that one's done this one Like I say, at the moment, I'm I'm not leasing the train. Oh, no, wrong one. It's still showing white. I can get in it, I can drive it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around to the final rent train point. Only because for the last bit, when I send it off the map, I want it to be rented by me. So it knows that what's on there is mine. So at the moment, we should just have... There you go. My little icon over it. And we'll get around to the rent train point the furthest over. Then we'll rent it, and then we'll send it off. So, <laughs> at that point, we'll only get charged for that first little bit, and then... Oh, we've already been charged for that. Mind you, it's not showing anything on the back. This may only work with the, the wood container versions. I really hope this works, otherwise... So, this is the final rent train point before we get off the map. So, if we come back out, you'll now see we're over here. It's showing us white. If we rent train now, 5,000 per hour. Where are you going? Oh, panic then. So, now it's showing green. We jump in. So, hopefully... It's all registered the foot. <laughs> now that bit of dirt, the 317 litres, that will stay in there. Um, so when it goes back round and comes back out again the other side, it will stop back at the silo again. Until I unload that, that will sit there indefinitely. So if I want the train to keep going round, or I want it to stay in place, I can leave it there, it will stay in place. If I want the train to keep going round and round and round and round, I'll just unload that into the silo and we'll be good to go. Um, so if you do want it to stop in place, just do that. Just put a little something in there. Right. Do I want to sell the goods? It's not going to do the logs. It hasn't done them. I just can't stop on this one today. I'm fixating. I can't help it. <laughs> 12.47. Uh, the train came back round. I um, got a third container, took that up to the plot. So we've got three full containers of logs. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's the containers that are stopping the logs from selling. If they were in wood containers, the, the platinum ones, it would work. The reason I'm saying that is to help out the guys here at the depot because they need room to store stuff. There were two big lumps of recyclable metal there I've loaded the metal onto the train and when you get into the cab of the train it is showing that there's 10,000 litres of recyclable metal on here whereas when the wood containers were on there it wasn't registering there was any wood and the metal the recyclable metal says it, it sells to export by train so what I'm going to do we're going to go off and do the same thing again again it hasn't what I've done because it sold the um Oh, what did it sell? Because it sold the, the earth that was in there, I put a little bit more earth in. Um, so I brought it back around, put some more earth in so it's sitting there. It'll probably sell that again when it goes off and around, but I'm, I'm done with using it. So what I'll do, I'll jump in, go around again, because I didn't really talk about the fact that, you know, I was so disappointed that the, the um, lumber didn't sell. But that's done its job. Works brilliantly. And in selling that metal, actually it won't go to me, will it? It'll go to the um, Transitional Authority. And then I claim it back, but um, it's selling for 1,500 and something. So both of those together, it's going to come in at 15,000 and something. And it cost me just over 16,000 to lease this. So it will cover the cost of leasing that pretty much, which is okay. These will stay here until lumber runs down at various other places. My other option is to sell these containers, let all the lumber fall on the floor. Like I said, the problem I've got is they're all different lengths. Some are a 12 meter, some aren't. I could buy 12 meter log containers 
the Platinum DLC ones. And just take a hit on any that are too long, because some of these, it's not even registering, but some of them are longer than 12, so I don't know, we'll, we'll see. But that's the situation we're at the moment. That will go back over to the farm. Um, we'll put the ramps back on, we'll get our toolbox out and we'll get the ramps put back on that, so that's good to go, that's good. Uh, brought that over to put the earth in, the bucket is still there. Oh yeah, another thing we're going to do then, because we are done on the hillside. I don't want to go back there again. <laughs> everything's done, everything's cleared, everything off there needs to come off there. That is now available for someone else to purchase if they wish. Um, 233,240. We're selling it back. So, I'm in a position to buy um, the crawl, buy a crawler loader. I could buy something else, to be fair, but I have to say it works. I like it. I did think about maybe getting a telehandler, which I still might do, but financially, we're in a good place. So, what I'm going to do now is just before I finish, before, like I said, before I lose my mind on this, let's go and make sure this works. It's been sat here all this time. I'll see you around the other side where we rent the train. Yeah, we've got 413 uh, litres of earth in here to hold its position. And we'll go around. I'll lease it and then hopefully when it goes... Oh, it won't show, will it? Because it's... <laughs> oh, man, this is ridiculous. It won't because it will go to the transitional, transitional authority, the metal, won't it? So it still won't show it's selling. Unless I switch over to the transition authority. Maybe we'll do that. We'll rent the train as the transition authority. We'll send it off as them. Just to make sure it sells. I know this overcomplicates things, but <laughs> it's the only way I can do it. So, let's rent it. Should come forward a little bit. Right. And then the transition authority. We'll return it. So that should now be showing as a light blue if I hop out there we go so transitional authority have rented it let's go and this will be it now I will be done I will be done for this episode <laughs> I was just telling Mrs. City P recording and prep of this has not gone how I thought this was supposed to be really straightforward and simple Right, so it did take it. Export by train. I don't know if you saw it, just suddenly fly off the back there. So, uh, yep, it did sell. So it does work. So the export by train does work. It's just, it's got to be those containers that all the logs are on that's causing the problem. Not the fact that you can't sell logs export by train. You absolutely can. It's just that's why. So what we'll do now is go back to here. Um, and to there. Mississippi, what was it? 176, wasn't it? So that'll be. Sorry, 1776. So 15.2. Transfer to Mississippi. I can now transfer back to my account. To prove the point, it does work. And the, the rental fee for the train was next to nothing. So, yeah, rather than it, all that time it's been sat there, all this mucking around I've been doing, all the stuff that's gone wrong, that 5,000 an hour, had I just rented the train and left it sat there rented while I was doing all of this, it would have been thousands and thousands and thousands to rent it. Instead, just by putting a little bit of dirt into it. Now, that will continue to go round and round now because it's sold that dirt. So, when it comes back around, it won't stop again. If I want it to stop again, I can rent the train, put something in it, and it will stay where it, where it will stay put. Um, I can move it, and I can, it doesn't have to be around at the train station once you've put something in it. And so, with that, I'm done. Definitely going for a lie down. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. 
If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you choose to do. Thanks for watching.